rolling deep with the PV comparison with green mixtape at that 1420 and then yo-yo with that 1354 uh, 20 sec se 26 second difference here uh, I'm gonna check this video out and play them side by side it's gonna be slowed down a little bit um, due to uh, how the PV comparison video works uh, so it's not going to be playing at full speed but uh, I'm going to be kind of looking at this, uh, talking over it, and we're going to see where I lose time, uh, where I lose that 26 seconds on yo-yo. Uh, there is one in particular strat that I started doing differently, which is I started picking up the walkthrough bombs upgrade that yo-yo does not get, and uh, it's just been a little bit safer, I think, for me uh, as far as not kicking the bomb um, when I don't want to uh, towards the end. So see if I can start these up simultaneously here. Okay. It's about, about even, a little bit ahead. Yeah, I gotta do this comparison because that's the best way for me to figure out like where I'm losing time. And I know I'm losing about five seconds, like right at the beginning. So. Yeah, see, like, I started a little bit sooner, and then he finished that first level, like, right off. Like, I, like, it's just, like, all these little things that are really, like, adding up throughout the run. So, that's, like, the main reason why I gotta check this out. But I picked up a lot of the new strats that he got in his recent PB that he did not do in his previous 1357 PB. So, I mean, you can see that Yo-Yo got a few frames on me there in the first two stages. And I lost a bit of time there. I mainly want to look at like exactly what levels or what stages I'm like how much time I'm losing on each individual stage. Uh, I did get a gold stage five but at the same time I like missed hits at the final boss so it could have easily been a sub 1420 so. and so he's finishing the level I'm up in the corner so he, I mean he's definitely saved like a few seconds already right at the beginning it's not really my best start ever though either, I mean, I was just kind of like knowing that I can save time throughout the run, so it wasn't like super heavy resetting, but I would reset if I lost like 10 seconds at the beginning of the run. Pretty sure this went like really well for me. See, yeah, it's playing 60% uh, speed. Yeah, so he does like a bomb kick strat here, and then like, I mean, I, I notice he's like exiting that level like at what, 120 or 145, like, which is insane. And then he, he, like, I'm noticing, like, he hits the portal here at, like, 150, and, like, sub 2 into the fucking portal. This is fucking insane. Right. Yeah, he just, like, just hits it, like, 159. And I hit it, like, 204 or something. Here. So that, that's, like, a 5 second difference based on that. Probably losing about 5 seconds in stage 1. And, and my PB is 20 six seconds off so there's five seconds right there out of it so the rest of the 21 seconds are in the other stages pretty fucking solid run for me um,
but I'm also kind of like adapt. I'm also like adopting like strats that a little bit more like race safe and like finish the run safe. Like I know he does like some crazy ass shit in this fucking PV. Um, yeah, so I know that was about a five second shift there. So I pick up the um, walkthrough bombs power up here. I just kind of like how like you can walk a little bit closer to where you want to go. Like inside, you can go inside the bomb a little bit when you punch it, and you don't really use bomb kick at all. So I just kind of like start picking it up, um, just kind of liking it a little bit. Uh, it's bad if you need to like hit an enemy near a warp that kind of like comes loose and like if a bomb is just like hovering over the exit or something you really want to have kick bomb for that that's like one of the main reasons why you still wouldn't want it sticking around he does also like a different like punch method here that's like I think it's faster I'm not to look at like exactly but on that level that I just finished But yeah, he's like legit, like a, a whole level ahead. So. Yeah, it was happening, Shadows. Uh, brought my PB down by 13 seconds again today, so. Every little bit closer to sub 14 helps. I'm pretty fucking sure I can get sub 14, but I'm gonna have to weed out like all the little things that save time. So. Probably gonna take a little break after this, come back, um, do a little Mr. Bones practice, try to mix those two up, and then I also. I uh, need to at least like practice EVO search for Eden a little bit because I, I got that May first run that got in I guess I I kind of I, I kind of told her like I don't really want to run it because it was kind of like if Joe's around I'm racing but like not going to be around so um, kind of kills the hype of uh, the submission so and I. Submitted Super Bomberman, but she didn't take that. So. Let's see, I also submitted this to Voidathon. This would be a sick ass run to do for Voidathon. And I'll, I'll be playing this like all the way through, like, was it like July or something? Because that tournament is going to go on for a while. But yeah, I have to race. I have to race Yo Yo uh, in the next race. So I, I, it's like I don't have much time to improve because the race is uh, scheduled for Sunday and he's consistently getting like very very good race times like the last race I watched he got like a 14.05 and a 14.07 like those are his two race times <laughs> so, and le so I'm gonna need to like legit shave off another 15 seconds on my PB to have this and then and then get that kind of a run in, a, in the race so Kind of beat him. Okay, so what was that like? A that's, he's getting like a sub five fucking. Let me watch on the replay. So where I would split uh, finishing stage two, like he's getting a fucking four fifty. Seven, eight, high four fifty, four fifty seven. No, he's actually they four. So I got a five away. So it's eleven seconds ahead. So I lost another six seconds in stage two to him. So 
Stage one was five seconds, six seconds in stage two, so he's eleven seconds ahead. Uh, Yo-Yo, like, I think for the longest time, like the Japanese runners, they do they do their run like this guy in particular, like in a lot of the other ones, like most of the Japanese runners, they do their runs on Nico Nico video, and uh, I think it was around like two thousand. 17 or 18 when they kind of started like joining the leaderboards because um, they were being submitted by like not the actual runners but uh, people who knew were aware of their runs so his he's not like super new or anything I think he's been around for about five six years um, but he did get he did just get this PB like a week and a half ago so I mean, this game is, like, super active right now, and I've improved my P. It was a 15.09, like, when I started, and now I'm down to 14.20, so it's, like, a 49-second you know, improvement. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm mainly just docking the time differences between stages. Uh, for now, I'm going to, like, watch this comparison over on my own time um, like multiple times just to kind of try to see where it's it's kind of hard when he's on like a different stage entirely than I am and like he's it's hard to compare to like that level between another level because it's in on, on a delay because um, I'm so fucking far behind <laughs> Uh, so now, okay, so his stage three time, let's check out what that is. I'm pretty sure this is a decent stage three for me, so I'm going to be impressed to see how much time, like, he's probably going to save another, like, four or five seconds here. And there's one level in, in stage four where he messes one level up a little, he loses a couple seconds or so. And I finally, like this run finally didn't get the uh, mystery item for me. And I just like, I, I, I always get it, so like me not getting it, I kind of like botched it a little bit because I didn't know what to do. Because I like never get that. Okay, let's see what he got. I think I like didn't press start right away and probably lost a second in the overworld here. Okay, he got like a 725, 726. Yep, he definitely fucking saved more time. Seven. 41. So 741 is 725. That's 16 seconds. So we saved another 5 seconds. It's about, it's about 15, 60 because it was like, I think it's like a low 41 and a high 25. So that's, but it's like a 15, 16 second difference. So it's another 5 seconds. So 5 seconds in stage 1, 6 seconds in stage 2, and another 5 seconds in stage 3. On him, so I, it's just like it's all these like very small like differences that that I lose time, and then so here like coming up when I get to four four here like I finally don't get the mystery item. I believe, I'm pretty sure, or maybe I maybe I did get. It. Let me double check. I, I don't get the mystery item for like the second run today, which is like the second run in like <laughs> fucking ever. Don't get the mystery item, so I don't know like what to do like super optimally like in these next three levels because I always get a different pattern. So I probably lost time to that. I'm not gonna be surprised. But the stage six was pretty fire for me. There's like one like a couple of things that are a bit slow, but. 
the whole like fucking stage six was fire until the very very end and then I like was a little bit early I think on the second punch. Yeah, and that's I still golded pretty fast. Yeah, so he's legit like two levels ahead, but this is fucking crazy. Yeah, so like there I'm just kinda like not really sure what I'm doing. <laughs> So we got a 920 stage 5 star. So that's 22 seconds, so another 6 seconds, right? Yeah, so 22 seconds difference, so lost 5 seconds in stage 1, 6 seconds in stage 2, another 5 s seconds in stage 3, and then another 6 seconds, so 5, 6, 5, 6. <laughs> Through a 22 second fucking difference already. Yeah, I'm able to swag it up and uh, walk through the enemy because I got the walk through bomb thing. So, a little extra swag on stage five. I, like, I don't think I lost time here. I hope not. <laughs> I'll double check. Yeah, 26 seconds time. So there's only... Like, that's pretty good given that I missed, like, some of these punches on stage 6. My stage 6 was definitely fire. To only lose, like, 4 seconds and miss the punch. That confirm like what if there was any time I might have lost a second, you know. Yeah, I'm really, I'm like really gonna have to like bank on him making some sort of a mistake that's at least like 20 to 30 seconds worth in the race, which definitely happens in this game. But like he's a maniac. 
1141. Stage 6 start, which is insane because it's like <laughs> fucking. I don't even think I get a sub. I don't even get a sub 12 start. And that that run is pretty fucking fun. Mm -hmm. It really is. That's a 12. That's three. So I didn't. Yeah, I didn't lose any time. It's still 22 seconds. <laughs> pretty much. Let's see. So I lost. I only lost another four seconds here because it's a 26 second gap. So we know the time differences. It's plus 5, plus 6, plus 5, plus 6, plus 0, plus 4 on all the stages. But, I mean, and then I, I believe I had better RNG in the first level. Like I had the better map set. And then he does a different strat here with these soldiers. I'm sure it probably saves like a second or half a second or something. I don't know. I mean, the question is like, do I do I race him and play consistently, or just do I like fucking go all out and just go for the fucking hardest strats? And I mean, the thing is like, if I if you take one death, it's just pretty much like a multiple minute time loss, and you're pretty much fucked. So I don't know. If I can consistently and safely get like sub fourteen tens, I would definitely go for that because. I mean, even though, like, it seems like he can really easily pull out a fucking... Yeah, and that's, like, the level, like, that's, like, the one level I think that really kind of messed up there. Uh, he's already at the fucking spot, which isn't fucking insane, dude. Like, his, his, the pace is insane. <laughs> yeah, and that was, like, a really, really, really good last level for me, and, Everything here was like going good, and I got like good bombs. Sh um, RNG here, and then the spider went pretty much perfect, and then I fucked up, of course, as always. Um, if you watch Yo Yo, he has a perfect second phase. Here. Like, literally, like the first fucking frame pot, like, or two possibly fucking gets that hit. Doesn't even go out of the middle, like it punches all five up the middle. Fucking insane. Right here I'm breaking out my second phase, and then I get the first hit, which is the hardest one, and then I fuck up the second hit. It's a little bit early, and then he starts flying around like an asshole. <laughs> I missed the. I'm okay. I missed the first. I, I, is it early first? Okay, early first shot, and then that misses, and we're having a shit show. I do kind of like recovered okay, given. You know, and I, that was just kind of. I should just stayed. Just to make sure I got the. The P, I, like, I knew I was like ahead of my PB for sure. Yeah, that's the PB comparison. Uh, 26 seconds off yo yo right now. And just 21 seconds off of a sub 14. Pretty much. I mean, like, he, like, 
he just goes ham, and, like, I don't, like, when I watched him do his race runs, they were a little bit different. It looked like he was going for a little bit safer shit in a couple levels. But he just goes fucking ham here. And <laughs> There's only one level where he, like, didn't kill an enemy in World or Stage 4, and he had to, like, punch a bomb to go kill him. I think it was, like, 4-5. And I'm pretty sure he lost like two seconds there, and that's like why he, his comment is, you know, a one, a 13.52 would be ideal. So I mean, it's not unbeatable, but like, it's fucking pretty wild. Other than a couple of minor things, yeah, I don't know. Like, probably if you have like the perfect perfect run right now, it's gonna be a sub 13.50. But absolutely every fucking level, everything about the run has to go right. And it's not, it, it, it's not like out of range. It's not like something that can't happen because it's only a, you know, it's less than a 14 minute run. So there's not, it's not like an endurance um, situation. I like I know I can get sub 14. It's just like there's a couple of things that like that, like that, like. I don't know, like I was practicing pretty hard trying to do like what he exactly what he's doing and there's a couple levels that are just you know, not there, and then there's like there is enemy RNG pattern, like they'll move a different way and they'll screw you over in a couple levels, so Yeah, but I, I think I'm kinda of burned out of playing Super Bomberman for today. Happy with this PB right now, but I'm definitely gonna keep going for sub 14 throughout the week, and I'm gonna try to prep as best as I can to get you know, ready to race him on Sunday. The next week, so it's like I got seven days until I race. It's gonna be in the morning. At uh, I think it's 10 a.m. Eastern. We're gonna race this on the Portuguese uh, speed gaming channel or restream. So I don't know. I mean, I'm really gonna have to kind of bank on him making some sort of a mistake in his run, but the guy seems pretty <laughs> like insane. I mean. His last two, like his last, the last person he raced, he got a 14.05 and then a 14.07. Like, uh, he's gonna, like, if, if I can get a run like this and he makes a mistake and he gets like a 14.30 or 20, like, that would be the ideal situation. But yeah, um, I'm gonna upload this. I'm gonna watch it a few times. Uh, this is a PV comparison, rolling deep, rolling out with green mixtape and yo yo. I uh, hope. Other people enjoyed it, but it's mainly just for me, so I can try to um, s figure out how I'm going to save at least 21 seconds, if not, you know, like 28, 29 seconds. So. Rolling deep, rolling out.